Whippersand Game Theoretic Objective Space Planning Autonomous vehicles still struggle in non-cooperative scenarios due to competing objectives. Autonomous racing highlights this challenge by penalizing both over-aggressive and over-conservative agents. In this paper, we propose a pipeline of agent optimization and a game theoretic planner to address these challenges. First, we'll go over our definition of the objective space. The objective space characterizes an agent in a low dimensional space while capturing agent performances. In our experiments, we choose progress and safety as our objectives. Next, we'll go over agent optimization. We use a sampling-based lattice planner where each proposed trajectory are assigned costs on different properties. We parameterize the agent as the cost weight vector. When optimizing, we use CMAES to optimize the cost weight vectors, and a Pareto front of agents is constructed during optimization. We next discuss the game theoretic planner. We define our two-player racing game as an extensive game. Agents' actions are in the objective space. In our case, it is similar to moving in a 2D grid world. Each action in the game consists of 8 seconds of racing between two agents, and each agent is allowed 3 actions in total. We use counterfactual regret minimization to maximize the expected utility that a player gets. We define the zero-sum utility as the value of the lead on track. Since the game states are infinitely large, we train a predictive model to predict the CFR value. Action with the highest CFR value is chosen. Lastly, we discuss our experimental results. On the left, we see exploration of agents that weighs the two competing objectives differently. And on the right, we see this resulting in different overtaking crash rate among explored agents. After optimization, we construct a near optimal set based on proximity to the Pareto front. We perform determinantal point processes to sample diverse agents in the near optimal set for training. Using the outcomes of playing two DPP sets against each other, we train an NMLP to predict the CFR value. We perform pair t-tests to test the null hypothesis that being game theoretic doesn't change win rate. Column-wise, when we compare game theoretic and non-game theoretic ego against all opponents, we see significant increase in win rate with small p-values, thus rejecting the null hypothesis. We see the same increase in win rate when playing against unseen opponents and in unseen environments, hence confirming the generalizability of using objective space as agent characterization. We show illustrative examples of games played in the objective space where the ego wins. In figures A and B, when the opponents are more conservative, the ego decides to increase in aggressiveness. And in figures C and D, when the opponents are more aggressive, the ego first decides to increase in restraint, and then after overtaking, increase in aggressiveness again. In a qualitative example, we see after the initial rollout, the online planner determines the ego and the opponent's starting position in the objective sp space. At the decision point, the game theoretic ego planner decides to increase in aggressiveness and change the cost weights of the planner accordingly. After the decision point, we see the ego overtaking the opponent at the end of the episode and winning the game ultimately. Thanks for listening.